All right, guys, I'm gonna get straight to the point. Um, earlier, this Kenmore Elite washing machine flooded my laundry room um, due to, I'm assuming, the vibration. Um, so it's kind of running into the same issue uh, that I had before I had the floor done with the Kenmore 80 series. Long story short, I did install some uh, vibration pads these seem to help um, probably about maybe 50 60 percent anyway the water pressure hose which is like located over here had come off and the machine was just draining all over my beautiful floor okay so I opened it up I fixed that and then the issue I ran into is um, when I put it to small load, and keep in mind, I tested the pressure switch, it's all connected, I blew in it, it clicked, uh, but when I put it to small load, I set the timer, um, the machine kept filling. So what I did then is I, I stopped it, and I put it to right here where like the neutral, like right before the neutral drain, pulled the timer out and it started agitating. So proceeded with the cycle. Um, and then what I did is like when it was spinning, I put it on second rinse. So when it, when it got to here, it started the second rinse. Um, but it never worked its way to here like it should. Um, so I'm no expert, um, but I, th I think I have enough uh, experience working on these that I, I, I'm pretty safe to say that timer may be going. Um, timer could be bad. I don't know. Um, so what do you guys think? Please let me know. Because um, I'm still considering this washing machine a work in progress um, it's definitely uh, it's definitely with you know uh, with its flaws um, but yeah let me know in the comments um, again and I don't know this is very it's it's it seems like it's stiff so I don't know if it's just from years of sitting or, or what but it, like it I don't know doesn't seem like it's really um, smooth to turn so but everything else works good other than that which I explained no issues other than yeah that so guys let me know thanks bye bye